Hey guys, hope you're having a great day. And I thought a good way to follow up the muscle car video was uh, talking about the American performance trucks. Now, I'm going to be talking about actual trucks and more or less street performers. So the, the wannabe trucks like the El Caminos and the Rancheros, I'm not really going to be talking about those. And the Power Wagon and the Raptor, even though they're both amazing trucks for the off-road, they're not really amazing street trucks, so I'm not going to be talking about those either. But uh, let's go ahead and begin with the list, guys. Number five, the GMC Cyclone. What's not to love about this truck? A turbocharged 4.3 that made 280 horsepower, and it being so small and being all-wheel drive, it was properly quick. Reaching 0-60 to 60 in 5.3 seconds, and running the quarter in just over 14. So in 91, if you wanted a fast Chevy vehicle but needed something with a bed, your best bet was the Cyclone. Oh, and if you prefer SUVs, you could always go for the Typhoon, which was just as powerful. Number 4. The Dodge Little Red Express Truck. With the bed, stacks, quickest 0 to 100 time of any American production vehicle in 1978, it checked all the boxes. That's what you get with the Little Red, and she is a beauty. I absolutely love this truck. The flare side bed, the stacks, the wooden accents. I just loved everything about it. Oh, and a massive 360 under the hood that made decent horsepower. This is one serious truck, and probably my favorite truck on the list. And if you're not a fan of red, you could always go for the Warlock, which was black and gold. Number three, the Dodge Dude. Crazy stripes and a 383. That's what you get with the dude. Oh, and it's rare. Easily the rarest truck on this list. With numbers being between 1,500 and 2,000 total. It wasn't the prettiest truck, but with the 383 making massive horsepower, who cares what it looks like, right? Number two, the Ford Lightning. The Lightning was first produced in 93 and had a supercharged 351 making 240 horsepower and was discontinued in 95. It returned in 99 with a 5.4 supercharged engine and in 2001 it was bumped up to 380 horsepower. Me personally, I loved the 93 Lightning. Even though it had less power, I just simply loved that body style. And in 2014, in an effort to kind of recreate the magic, Ford produced the Trimmer, which had a 3.5 EcoBoost. But me personally, I prefer my full-size trucks to sport a V8. Number one, Dodge really loves making insane pickup trucks. And the craziest of all was the SRT-10, a truck with a Viper engine. Why not? It made 500 horsepower and 0 to 60 is achieved in 4.9 seconds, and it ran the quarter in 13.6 seconds. Oh, and you could get a quad cab, which would do 0 to 60 in 5.6 seconds, and the quarter is just slightly slower at 13.7 seconds. Just push your right foot down and watch as the tank empties and the tires melt. But for serious power for a reasonable price, you can't beat it.